Ukraine's main intelligence directorate has stated that it carried out an operation to destroy Russian Baltic fleet minesweeper Alexander Obakov, the agency reported on Monday. The ship was based in the city of Baltiysk in Kaliningrad region and was supposed to go on combat duty. Due to the mysterious appearance of a hole in the gas duct, water got into the engine, the main intelligence directorate revealed in a statement and published a video of the engine inspection. According to agency, the minesweeper's repair will be technically complex and expensive. There have been no official reports from Russia regarding the problems with Obakov. This was the second case of Ukraine sabotaging a Russian warship in the exclave, which lies between Poland and Lithuania some 400 kilometers from Ukraine's northwestern border. Производится разборка главного двигателя по причине попадания воды внутрь двигателя. Была, раз... Была разобрана турбина, снят компенсатор, идет поиск отверстия, через которое поступала вода внутрь. Двадцать девятое сентября две тысячи двадцать четвертого года город Балтийск тральщик Александр Обухов. Ukraine is making steady progress in its fight to retake Crimea a decade after Russia's little green men first invaded the peninsula in 2014 and more major advances are expected later this year. Although Russian troops spent years digging in, in Crimea, turning the popular vacation spot into a military hub, special operations by the armed forces of Ukraine over the last two years have decimated the Kremlin's logistical capability and military readiness, according to a new report published by the Atlantic Council. With international attention firmly fixed on the Russian army's advances in eastern Ukraine and the Ukrainian invasion of Russia's Kursk region, it is easy to overlook important developments taking place further south in Crimea, wrote Sahi Kuzan, the chairman of Ukraine's Security and Cooperation Center and a former advisor to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. During 2024, Ukraine has achieved a number of strategic successes in and around the Russian-occupied peninsula that are worthy of closer attention and could shape the ultimate outcome of the war, he said, according to Kyiv Post media outlet. It is noted that the three main military initiatives by the armed forces of Ukraine that have weakened Russia's grip on Crimea include 1. The destruction of almost one-third of Russia's Black Sea Navy fleet using surface drones and missiles that have rendered the Russian Navy virtually ineffective. 2. The use of long-range missiles that have forced Russia to push its air defense systems back from northwestern Crimea, leaving a large part of the peninsula vulnerable to further counter-attacks. 3. The successful targeting of key logistics hubs and routes leading to the peninsula that have severely limited the ability of Moscow's forces to supply the area with essential material resources. The armed forces of Ukraine has used this three-pronged approach to push all of Russia's navy out of the Sea of Azov and limit the Kremlin's ability to stage attacks from the south, according to Kuzan. Even more, the targeting of Crimea has offended Putin, who has constantly promoted the capture of the peninsula as a major victory. The 2014 occupation of the Ukrainian peninsula is routinely portrayed in Kremlin propaganda as the greatest achievement of Vladimir Putin's entire reign and a symbol of Russia's return to great power status. Kuzan said, Putin's current inability to defend Crimea is therefore widely perceived as a personal humiliation. US allies support Ukraine's efforts to repatriate Crimea, according to General Ben Hodges, 
a former NATO official and commanding general of US forces in Europe. We could be 100% clear to the Ukrainians and the Russians that we are 100% in favor of them retaking Crimea, however they do it, Hodges told Al Jazeera. And more movement towards once again raising a blue and yellow flag on the peninsula can be expected by the end of the year, he added.